Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another Mother's Day Tumblr tutorial. I've got a super quick and easy Tumblr design for you today. So we are going to start off with a morning mug from the Tipsy Magnolia and I'm going to start by painting it with some pink acrylic paint. I think the name of this color is Lisa Pink or Bubblegum Pink, but it is the Delta Creative Ceram Coat brand. My favorite, it's the best acrylic paint ever. The coverage is so good. So once I'm finished painting this, I'm going to let it sit and dry for about 30 minutes and then we can apply our glitter. I'm going to use some UV resin to apply my glitter to my tumbler, but of course, as always, you can use any adhesive that you like. I'm using the UV resin here because we can cure it really quickly and then move on to the next step. So I'm going to put a little bit of that on my tumbler, spread it all over, make sure I've got a really nice thin even layer, and then I'm going to apply my glitter. The glitter I'm using is from the newest peachy palette. The name is Raspberries and it is beautiful. I cannot wait to use this again. It's kind of like Tiny Dancer, if you know what that looks like from Peachy, but it's way more pink. It's got a little bit of a different tone, but very reminiscent of Tiny Dancer. So I'm going to cover the entire tumbler, including the handle, with this glitter, and then I'm going to cure it in front of my UV lamp for about 15 to 20 minutes just to make sure everything is fully cured and dry, and then we will move on to sealing everything. Because this glitter is a chunkier cut, I definitely want to seal it with my Crystalot glitter glue before I add any epoxy. I really don't want to deal with any super pokey bits sticking up or have to do like a lot, a lot of sanding in between all of my coats. So I'm taking just the plain Crystalot glitter glue here. This is not mixed with water. You can use either one, but I just had this one handy, so that's what I'm using. And I'm just going to brush in one direction pushing the glitter down as I brush the glitter glue on to make sure that it stays stuck down and <laughs> flat so that when I go and add my epoxy, it's already in that flat position because that's how we sealed it with the glue. So when we put the epoxy over it, it's going to lie flat and everything will go on really smoothly. That was probably a way excessive explanation of sealing your glitter, but whatever, you guys know what to do. <laughs> So after the sealer was applied, I let it dry for about two hours and then I added two coats of epoxy to the mug. Each coat was about 15 to 20 milliliters of the Flint Sisters Supply Shop Fast Cure Epoxy. After that second coat was cured, I went in and did a full round of sanding as you can see here. My cup is relatively smooth now at this point. I did a lot of sanding just to make sure that when we apply this vinyl decal or detailing to the tumbler that we didn't have any trouble applying it. So the design that we're gonna do around this entire mug is a line art floral design. So I found this really pretty SVG on Creative Fabrica and I thought it would be pretty to just cut this out of vinyl, wrap it around the whole cup and make just a really simple, pretty tumbler using this theme. So I'm gonna bring that file into Silhouette Studio and because I want this to wrap all the way around the mug, I'm going to duplicate the file and place the them next to each other so that it looks like it's one long continuous SVG file if that makes sense. If you want to you can apply these in two separate pieces and just kind of hand place them but I wanted to really bring them together and make it look like it was one fluid solid piece. So I'm going to put them next to each other flip them around and kind of see what looks the best and then what I'm going to do is create a really thin offset of the design because these lines are so super delicate. I didn't want to have a lot of trouble weeding them or cutting them out. So I created a really super thin offset to then weld everything together and thicken up those lines just a little bit.
I'm going to cut this out of some really pretty glitter vinyl. So I am going to increase my pressure when I cut because I want to make sure that we cut through the glitter vinyl and that we don't have to cut this again. I will be honest, this took forever to cut out because there's so many lines and little things to cut out. It probably took like 20 minutes to cut out. So once I've got everything cut, this is what it looks like. Now what I'm going to do is kind of like reverse weed this. We've got a lot of really fine lines and fine details in this and I don't want to mess it up and have to cut it again. So what I'm going to do is apply my transfer tape to this entire piece of vinyl first and then I'll remove the backing and get rid of all of that excess vinyl from the outside around all the florals and then we'll apply it to the mug before we weed anything else out. So as you can see now, we've got most of the outer excess vinyl removed. So what I'm going to do is replace the backing and then I'm going to cut as closely around our florals as I can so that I can ensure that I place this as perfectly as possible on our tumbler. All right, so now we can apply this to our tumbler and what I'm going to do is use that straight edge at the bottom that I just cut using my paper trimmer. I'm gonna use that as my guide for placing this down. So I'm gonna try and place that as straight as possible. Just remove the backing from a little bit of the decal, wrap it around to see how we're doing. And then I'm going to use my squeegee to push this vinyl onto the tumbler. You wanna be really careful and slow as you do this because again, we've got a lot of really delicate, tiny pieces here and you don't want to lose any of those and mess up all of this hard work that you've done. So once you've got the vinyl pushed all the way around your tumbler, you want to make sure that it is stuck down to your cup so, so well before you go through and remove all of that transfer tape. Okay, so now all of our transfer tape is removed and we can move into the fun part and that is weeding out all of these vinyl pieces to reveal this super pretty floral design. Now again, I will admit this took so long. <laughs> this took me forever, longer than it even took to cut it out. So I would recommend turning on a podcast or something and just taking your time going through and peeling up all of these tiny little details. I will say it was really rewarding to, to peel all of this up and reveal this really beautiful floral pattern. Um, but yeah, I'm just using my pin pen. I'm gonna go through, pick out as much of this as I need to, to reveal the design, and then we will move on to the next thing. So here's what the cup looks like after everything has been weeded out. I am loving these florals so much. They look so pretty on that pink glitter. So to avoid any lifting or anything when I apply my epoxy, I am going to seal all of this vinyl down. I'm using the adhesive apothecary binding potion and a brush, just brushing that all over my vinyl. I'm going to let that dry for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then I'm going to add my final two coats of epoxy. As always, I'm using my Flint Sister Supply Shop Artist Cure epoxy for my final coats and that's it. So I decided not to do a decal on this cup. I thought about doing a decal and then once I got the florals on I thought you know what I'm just gonna let the florals shine. I don't want to cover all of them up with 
a mom themed decal, but of course you can personalize this however you want for Mother's Day or really any design or quote that you like. Um, so of course, let me know what you think down below in the comments. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure you hit that subscribe button as well. And thanks so much for watching as always. I will see you guys tomorrow for another Mother's Day themed Tumblr tutorial. And I think that's it. Okay. Love you. Bye. I want to say a special thank you to all of my channel members, subscribers, and especially my elite fam. Thank you guys for all of your support. I literally could not do this without you. If you want to be part of the fam, you can subscribe to the channel, join as a channel member, or if you'd like the full shebang, extra content, and all of that, you can join my elite fam by going to patreon.com slash elite fam. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I love you so much, and I'm so grateful for all of you, and I'll see you in the next video. Here's one if you want to check it out. Okay, love you. Bye.